Interpol West Africa arrives in Nigeria to help fight insecurity, banditry, terrorism, and you know the rest of it. The federal government has sealed pact with the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, and West African Police Information Program. The federal government sealed this pact, and the Minister of Police Affairs, Mohamed Dingyadi, spoke on Tuesday during a meeting with the Global Security Organization. Interpol Executive Director of Police Services, Kavanaj Stevin visited the ministry headquarters in Abuja. Ding Yadi announced that WAPIS and Interpol are willing to support Nigeria to make the country safe. The minister said crimes are complex and vary from different locations, urging stakeholders to join forces to end the challenge. Ding Yadi confirmed there used to be lack of synergy cooperation among security agencies and most of them refused to share information at their disposal. In his words, he said, we have a lot of criminal issues. We require cooperation from anywhere that will assist us curb these criminalities. Speaking, the director said, exchange of information among security border and intelligence agencies will lead to credible and up-to-date data we are not here to have a nice time we are here to make sure we understand how our peace can support west africa to share data among security agencies effectively there is no crime in learning i will tell you this but we know that insecurity in Nigeria is something that is deliberate. It is an act that is deliberate. It is not something that is so humongous, so big, so overwhelming that they cannot deal with. It is something that has been put there. It is something that is being nurtured. It is something that is made to be big so as to oppress, crush, and to cause mayhem. Interpol has been brought to Nigeria to fight insecurity. Well, as it is, some people have applauded Buhari, um, bearing in mind that he will soon be stepping out very soon. I mean, the tenure of Buhari, or are we going to call it regime, is coming to an end. If Buhari is to institute this, let us assume that this works. I'm sure that Interpol, if they are not corrupt, will be able to unravel a lot. And when I say a lot, they will be able to unravel a lot of secrets. Now, talking about sharing of data among West Africa security agencies, let us even look at that of Nigeria. The DSS believes that they are superior to the police, ESCC, will muscle on each other. This is how they roll. And when you look at the drug enforcement agencies, they will also try to muscle. And at the end of all of this is the military. Let us look at the so-called warrant for arrest of the Serbian governor, even though the court ruled that he should not be arrested. EFCC should have gone to the court to contest. But you know what EFCC did? They try to find a way to pick him up, DSS, to pick him up. And he had to call for favors. Military officers, in fact, according to the report that we have, the security that protected him from the airport down to his office is even much more than that of the president. That is to let you see, to know that it is not a joke. Interpol is an organization, International Criminal Police Organization, and WAPIS is West African Police Information Program. All of this to combat insecurity. And, you know, people have looked at all of this and they said, why waste your energy? There is no way that Nigeria will be peaceful. 
There is no way that this crime will be sorted out. Why don't you allow us break apart? They said most of the crime or the reasons behind many of this crime is as a result of this conjoined Nigeria that should have been broken apart a long time. Now, Buhari has urged Mr. Usman Baba, Inspector General of Police, to use Nigerians' um, Interpol position to fight insecurity in the country. We all know that all regions of Nigeria have criminals. We are not going to point to one you know, region or tribe as the criminal. We know that crime cares less. You know, people who commit crime do not look or act because of their tribe. But the problem that we have in Nigeria, like I said, is that this is deliberate. Um, the kind of criminals that came out from the woodworks, from the desert, are being patted at the back by no other than the government itself. Buari was asked in the US, what are you going to do about insecurity? What Buari said is this. He said, when Libya was brought down, and of course we understand what happened in Libya, the change of government, the killing of Gaddafi by the West, by Europeans, he said this created is a, 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 a kind of tunnel where small arms and ammunition trickled into Nigeria. What does that mean? It is your fault also that there is an imbalance in my own country, which is true. Let us be factual about it. Um, they disrupted Libya. And of course, weapons will flow around. This will give opportunity to certain elements to try to bring in weapons the web, you know, the desert is so vast, it's so big, and there is no way that the government of Nigeria can monitor. They have not even done monitoring internally. How can they monitor the vast land mass from Libya connecting to other countries into Nigeria? This is true. It is complex. It is not a joke. How do you handle this in your country? It is not easy also because the manner at which terrorists operate is not as easy as a lot of people think. They use what they call human shield most of the times. And often they will kidnap innocent people, have them with them wherever they are. So when you come to attack them, you will have to kill those innocent people. That is how they operate. So are you going to go into collateral damage or not? That is the question. Um, that is the question for a government that wants to really attack and deal with insecurity now this is a new development do you think this is a good move or not let us meet at the comment section and do not forget to like and share this video